This is a short video to explain the differences in some of the oil painting mediums that are available to us as painters. Um, here I've got refined linseed oil, an alkyd medium called galkyd light, and a solvent-free gel. <clears throat> um, painting mediums essentially all do the same thing to oil paint. They uh, change the, the way that the paint flows off of the brush. They have an influence on the transparency and gloss level of the paint, and they have an influence on drying time. So the difference between one medium and another is how they do these things. So I want to talk a little bit about um, the, the mediums in terms of viscosity, which is the material's resistance to movement. Um, materials that have a low viscosity move very freely, like water. Uh, materials that have a high viscosity move much slower, like um, molasses. Um, and then I want to discuss um, their kind of mechanisms for drying, which has an influence on um, how they're, the, the rate in which they dry and some of the limitations of, of their use. So to start off with, um, we've got refined linseed oil. Uh, refined linseed oil is um, the oil from the flax plant, and um, it's been the main binder for oil painting um, for 600 years. Uh, linseed oil is, called, is considered a drying oil, and other drying oils will include walnut oil, safflower oil, and poppy oil. And the main mechanism for drying, if we have linseed oil here and we've got a paint layer, that linseed oil is made up of small little chains of oil. And linseed oil dries by pulling in oxygen into the paint layer. And that process starts a linking up of those molecules into longer chains, what's called polymerization. And this turns essentially wet paint into dry paint. And that is... Um, the, essentially, oil paint dries by the pulling in of oxygen, and it's the linking up of those chains into a quote-unquote dry paint film. So oil paint doesn't um, have any volatiles, nothing evaporates out of the system, it dries by pulling oxygen in. Um, another kind of drying oil is what's called a bodied drying oil, such as stand oil. And stand oil is a heated version of linseed oil. Um, and it's through the heat that it starts the polymerization process to create a much thicker, higher viscosity oil. because those chains are already starting, are already polymerized. And then oxygen comes in and completes that process to where again, we get the wet oil to a dry paint layer. Uh, think of stand oil as a linseed oil that has maybe a 50 yard head start in its drying process um, through that polymerization that's happened through heat when the oil is produced. Um, so stand oil is considered a polymerized oil. <clears throat> and then in the 20th century, we have um, the development of alkyds. And an alkyd is actually um, made by a soy oil, and the soy oil is so highly cooked and polymerized 
that a solvent is included to keep those chains of polymerized soy oil far enough away from each other so it be, it's a fluid medium. And alkyd mediums can be created at different viscosities, they can be fluids, they can also be gels. Alkyd mediums such as Galkid Light dry by the evaporation of the solvent. The evaporation of solvent is a much faster um, drying mechanism than the oxidation of oil, which is why alkyd mediums uh, dry so quickly. So what, Gal what Gamblin did with their alkyd mediums is simply take that word galkyd and added a G for Gamblin, and that's their branded um, line of alkyd resin mediums. Uh, Solvent-free alkyd mediums are similar, but instead of, so they start with that soy oil that's highly polymerized. Instead of having a solvent included in it, there is a small amount of a drying oil like uh, walnut, um, walnut oil, safflower oil, um, basically an, any type of drying oil can be added to this. And it dries by the oxidation of that oil. So it's most of the, the oil in the solvent-free alkyd mediums are already polymerized. Um, and then the, the drying is completed through the oxidation of their drying oil content. So these will dry faster than uh, a, a regular drying oil like linseed oil or stand oil, but not quite as fast as the regular alkyd mediums that dry through solvent evaporation. Um, but again, all of these mediums can be used in the same manner. Um, they just have different feels, you know, a uh, medium like Galkid Light will increase the flow off of the brush very quickly. A medium like Solvent Free Gel um, is a denser consistency and will extend the paint but not turn it into a fluid like a fluid medium will. I think the other thing that's worth noting is when we're working with drying oils, such as linseed oil and stand oil, or solvent-free um, alkyd mediums that have quite a bit of um, drying oil in them, you want to use those oils in moderation, up to 20 to 25 percent. Um, the galkids, however, you can use um, a lot more of them in with the paint. Uh, to, for, for glazing effects and whatnot. Okay, I hope this helps.